everything you've heard about the newly oh, renovated wow. Fortune City, Nevada? And it's this. all okay. true. I started stream just in time to catch this, this riveting. Unbelievable things happen here. I'm not sure. Are you this. hungry for adventure? Explode your senses. I don't want anybody to explode my senses, please, and thank you. You can risk it all Chuck with Green cutting really edge weird. competition. Looks really weird. I was talking about this in my fucking K Zero. About how like Dead Rising 1 is almost like weirdly photorealistic. And then Dead Rising 2 and and even to or a degree just 3 maybe just go for heart. weird. Like campy. People don't look I mean they look Open like yourself cool up for the most part. In but some Fortune of them look City. really bad. Chuck looks f passable. He looks weird, but he's like passable. And then like Katie look I mean I guess. I mean name me a better looking child care oh fuck, child character model in any game. Because there's not oh. a whole lot of, of Come choices. on. Game. I'm trying to decipher if this runs in 60. Maybe these cutscenes run in 30, but everything else runs in 60. I don't know. Call him Mr. Green. My name's Chuck. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need you to sign this release. Look at this dude who looks like a knockoff Kevin oh, Owens. And, uh, don't forget to include <laughs> your next of kin. Knockoff Kevin Owens. Her name is Katie. Your list of next of kin. Can you take her somewhere safe? Yeah, I'll take her to the green room. Good, the green room. Go with the nice right. man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. I like how he calls him a nice man. Even though he's literally bent like a dick. Dead Rising 2. It's a good logo. Like the like the neon. Sorry for the interruption. It's all good, my dude. I would like these scissors. <laughs> I don't even want context. You know, I I don't even. Hey, I just. <laughs> I heard you lost your wife in Vegas. I like the, just the quiet. I guess you suck at killing zombies, scissors. otherwise she'd still be around. <laughs> All right, listen, Green Ranger. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, I'm just gonna America, skip all of the fucking cuts. We're going to get a to get little to payback. Go off. I, st I mean, I still have to get there. That's the whole reason we're playing this is for the plot. Yeah, you can't oh, I remember all the cuts. I could be skipping any cutscenes. I don't. I know that. Just clarify. And now, it's Lest time for I get shit for most dangerous game show. It's time for Terror is Reality. <laughs> the question is, how did the red and the blue do the red? How much Chuck go. and Leon have yet to? Well, America, I 
His tie Feel pleasant. All right, let's wipe them off and hose them down. Let me hear it, people. I feel like they remastered Dead Rising 2 winner. just so they could remodel TK's He's mouth animations because they feel He's way over pronounced. He's not. He's not. He's not Jesus Christ. The big money. I was hoping for a better ride. At least they did Chuck. touch up Chuck's face. But he's not like nearly as jack as he does in the 360 comes. version. Run. Terry looks better too. Looks less like he's got frosted tips and more like a normal so right looking now, dude. Let me hear you make some noise. More like he's actually. Uh, I remember that the twins are a boss fight. I remember that they are not fun. Veterinarians are looking into the problem and have been examining the diets on different farms. This seems to have only compounded the problems which have been linked to the beef shortage in local areas. The zombie rights group cares in the news again. The protest group has shown up in the animal playground of Fortune City, which was chosen as the site of the latest installment of the pay-per-view game show, Terror is Reality. The protest just compounds the problems of the game show, which has been plagued recently by tumbling ratings and controversy. Cure was on the site of the show to display their opposition to what they call the unethical treatment of zombies. Stacey Forsythe, the leader of the Nevada branch of Cure, had this to say. Let our government know we will not stand for their systematic... Are they model-swapped Stacy? That's interesting. They use the Dead Rising 2 off the record model for. Why would you want to save those things? They, uh, because they made her look different in the off the record. Doesn't feel very good. So it's kind of interesting to see that they switched the models from that game back to this one. I wish, though. There was a, a fucking crazy Chuck Green costume from that game. Hey, do you know where the green rooms are? Yeah, take the elevator on the floor and then straight down the hallway. You Dude, I'm telling you. Fucking Aaron Eckhart. Make a Dead Rising movie. Cast Aaron Eckhart as Chuck Green. It literally is the same fucking person. Like... Yes, because... That'll be good. Dude, are you going to tell me you don't buy Aaron Eckhart as Chuck Green right now? Come on now. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying it's not going to be a good movie. 
Well, it'd be a video game movie, so by default, it would be a bad movie. Which is a very unfortunate thing. Okay, make a save profile for... I'm making two save profiles. Just in case. This feels so weird. Because I, pl I played uh, uh, K0 because it's only on backwards compatibility. It's so strange playing a Dead Rising 2 in, in 60 frames. It's, it's real weird. Mr. Chucky Green, Terry's reality star. I guess you think you're a big man now. Well, uh, no, but, I mean, sure, I guess? Maybe? As long as I win, I don't give a shit. It's actually interesting. Her dialogue talk shit to you if you lose. The ladies were a little disappointed in your performance tonight, Chuck. I didn't mean to throw the bag of chips. I don't care what you think, weird lesbian lover ladies. Or twins? I don't know. Good night, ladies. I don't know. Yes, the natural progression. We went from 12 hours in K0 to 24 hours. Oh, and so it begins. So it begins the song. Oh my god. I'm already down the one fucking health bar. Yeah. Never a fun go. Oh god! Oh god, she got me! She got me! Fucking this. There's always people wearing Letterman jackets in the Dead Rising universe. Did they just think. Did the Japanese and Canadian people think American people just always wear fucking. Letterman jackets? That dude's face doesn't look too bad. Oh, thanks, Warren's and bystander, for taking that for me. Man. Appreciate you. Can we talk about the irony that the first person to die is named Sean. Jenny, Noah, I'm sorry, Alice. Ah, uh, you can't save any. This feels good. Blood effects on on character models still look pretty bad. Katie, Katie. Puff puff. Get off her. Still day. The fact that Katie's backpack says puff puff on top of a little cloud. Still baffles me. Go away! Katie, it's me, it's Daddy. It's happening again, isn't it? Like what happened with Mommy. Shh, hey, Katie, Katie, listen to me. You need to stay calm, okay? We need to get out of here. He's gonna be okay. So hang on tight. Man. Chuck Green is just the best dad. Oh, Erwin, why would you run that? Whatever. Good luck, man. No, it's me! I'm gonna die. I'll save. Nope. I went to try and save myself, and I couldn't. Move, please. <laughs> the Platinum Strip. It's taking oddly long to load. Oh, right, because this is a cutscene. 
Oh no. Not again. Yeah, Chuck. Again. Is safe from. Safe house? And he's gonna be okay now, Katie. Uh, I can't get a signal. Why? Why can't I get a signal? She she was she was looking right at me and they had her and I I couldn't do anything. She went down. Without a sound, and I, I had to get out of there. I just ran. That did kind of sound like the voice actor for Nick in three. Oh, and look at that, Sullivan. Whoa, 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 hold on a second, son. God damn it, Katie. Listen, it's an existing condition, all right? It's okay, it happened a long time ago. It's only a matter of time before she turns. Hey, don't worry, I've got Sombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot, because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilizing. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're oh, stuck here. Yeah. There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. Thanks for not being a total dickhead. Obligatory ass shot. Gotta love it. We don't have any zombies. I thought there was some kind of achievement linked to the... I was gonna get some. Show. Fucking, uh, what is that? We still have time. Where are you gonna get it, Dad? You let me worry about that, okay, kiddo? The. I know where you How long have you been listening? Nah, I thought there was an achievement for, like, killing zombies There's with the, in the Royal Flesh Mall. giant the dice on the back gaming board or whatever. Chuck. No, this not an game. achievement. You get a, um,. You get, if you roll you know the dice on it, you can get no. um, XP. But if you find one, I suggest you take this. Oh. Uh. That way we can keep in touch. I think if you roll above a three or something like that. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only, but I'll keep an eye on them. All right, I will shoot you in Chuck, invite momentarily. Just... If you find anyone alive out there, I'll do what okay. I can. Wrapping up this Keep an eye on my daughter, okay?
Oh, that's great. I didn't know you could actually do that. Ah, smart one, Chuck. Grabbing that map, boy. Until the military... Well, the first game was like a helicopter. Second game, military. If anybody's played Dead Rising 1, the military showing up, not necessarily the best thing to have happen. Uh, the transceiver will let you receive co-op calls. Press right to answer co-op calls. People can drop in for a co-op game at any time. You can restrict who joins in the gameplay options menu. Explore Fortune City with a friend and slaughter even more undead. Alright, I'm going to go to options right now because I'm going to make sure... Public, friends only, there we go. I'm just gonna put my fucking ringtone on vibrate mode. Friends list, oh no. It fucking does that, it does it that way. Uh, it doesn't pull up a, uh, like an in-game thing. Slightly disappointing. I'm still looking for more survivors. Almost as disappointed as I am that I played K Zero. I was like, oh, maybe it'll maybe it'll let me grab my progress. And it did. Got any updates? Somehow I've already killed ten zombies. That because it doesn't count. One the minor thing that bothers me with the this game is that when you, f you first start up, it just says Dead Rising on the main menu, and then it shows the two, like, a few seconds later. Well, I don't know why I opened this door. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good first impression. Just <laughs> Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what I expected. Uh, do I have... Oh yeah! This is the, the re-up version. Cooking oil. Can I drink it? No. There's the, um... The what's it called? <laughs> we have all the, the DLC, so we have like the crazy psycho stuff. I see, you can look like Leatherface. Spec Ops stuff. Oh, I got the oil, Jay. Nice. Did you get the oil? Yep. Nice. Yeah, smooth. Psycho hair. And get the... <sighs> Killer. I don't know what's changing there. Oh, look. Now I have all the buffs all the time. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the DLC stuff does uh, different things. You only have to wear one piece of each to get the, the special stats. The spec ops, the, or the military stuff doubles your ammo for all weapons, I believe. Nice. And, um... Killer. The ninja stuff increases run Sweet. speed and thrown weapon damage. So, like, if you get, like, a box of nails or CDs, like something you can throw, it'll do extra damage. Yeah. Uh, the psycho stuff, I believe, gives you bonus experience using weapons to kill zombies. I think it just gives it, uh, I don't actually remember what it does. Oh, no, it uh, doubles how long you can use weapons like chainsaws. Yeah. No, it, uh. gives you, it gives you bonus XP based on combo weapons, I think. I don't fucking remember what the psycho shit does. All I know is it did something. And the sports fanatic shit uh, makes it so you can't get drunk Not if you drink bad. too much alcohol. Yeah. I didn't actually get a good look at the blood effects. The one thing I wish they could have changed about Dead Rising 2 was the blood effects. 
we will have to find out if they did change it or not. Because the blood effects in Dead Rising 1 were fucking sweet. Anybody home? I'm not gonna continue to play that. Hear your dude whispering in the background. Just whispering yep. weird, weird shit because you keep putting on different clothes. Not bad. Yeah. All right, you ready? Sure. Oh, I forgot there's a cutscene. The air ducts. That smile. That damn smile. It's true. It's damn true. I love Chuck Green. Chuck Green might be my favorite Dead Rising character of all time, to be honest. There's a lot of them. Wait, why do I have green hair? What? Uh, because the psycho stuff gives you no. Because you're wearing the sports fan helmet. Sports fan helmet gives you green hair. Got um. urgent. Chuck, I found a travel brochure in Fortune City. Ah, crap. Oh, yeah, we don't have combo room yet. Combo. Good combo. Jack in the sledgehammer, bro. Okay, first things first. My face will do it. Uh, he's slipping on the oil. Yup, they can slip on oil and puke. <sighs> they didn't change the blood effects that much. They touched them up so they don't look so shit, but they're still not great. So, at least it's something, I guess. Where is it? There. Can it we is. damage each other? I think so. I have health items, so feel free to smack me whenever. Hit me! Yes. Uh, do, wait, no, do it again, because I was getting attacked. Hang on, do it again. Yep. No, no, I didn't take any damage. There's a uh, reaction. Oh, yeah. There's reaction. It looks like you're losing a little Knock bit. Oh, no, never mind. I am losing health. Cause, yeah, see, that's what I'm I not, thought. I saw a little red. I'm not I'm used to it in this fucking game because in the first game, when you take any damage, the like the squares like vibrate, so you know you took damage. It yeah. doesn't do that in this one. Coming off of like a nice, like eight-hour playthrough of Dead Rising One. Yes, get the. There we go. Chuck wearing his chucks. Gotta gotta get that in there. All right, we gotta get the stupid effects. Oh, you can break the mannequins and use the different body parts. Oh, hang on. I'll be Al Snow. I'll carry around a mannequin head everywhere. Oh my god. Somebody had to make the joke. You are... Okay. Would you like what? to change your, uh, your helmet? You were definitely jolting up and down. Gray hair. No, Chuck does... Chuck is not a silver fox. Pink hair. However, Chuck I'll do the gray hair. I look like an old murderous psychopath. 
Chuck rocks the pink hair. Or the gray hair. One place has blue hair. And hairstyles. Ow. Thanks. I'm yeah, actually, no, I'm actually glad you did that because it pushed me out of the stupid animation where he fucks around with his head for a minute. Alright. Unfortunately. We need to fucking go. God, I'm getting sidetracked. We're here to do the main story. I'm, not Grab a bad I'm getting person. money, though. Do whatever, I'm gonna head towards the open. Oh, I'm gonna grab a an apple. I should have picked up the health magazine. Cause that's like right in the, the first area. Carried around the fucking health magazine in Dead Rising 1 for a while until you get to the end of the game and the military shows up and if they sh kill you they don't kill you they knock you unconscious and strip you naked and take all your shit and I never got it back I cry every time okay. ow maybe anybody oh no you do have to be over here damn it Paul I'm sorry I'm no it's fine Trust me, don't uh, don't worry too much about money and whatnot because there are so many casinos. Once we get the combo rooms opened, we can do uh, we can make the hacker. So I remember how to make that. Actually. I'm waiting, buddy. Waiting, buddy. Oh no, you opened it. It's gonna be your dude in this screen. This will be good. Yeah. This ought to be interesting. Yeah, look at these hooligans that we're gonna murder, and then they're later gonna sell us oh, shit. Great. <laughs> a sarcastic man who looks like a murderer. Hey! Oh, great. I know you're holding out on us. Where's the money? Where's the safe? Uh, Come on! Don't lie to me! We don't have a safe! Don't lie! Hey, dirtbag, let the lady go. Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Exactly what I'm doing. I'm just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely going to And a reason to murder you. I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. The fact they're calling you Grandpa is so fucking accurate. You in your hair. Old man, Grandpa, and I've got gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, like, ah, I see where you got the misconception. <laughs> it is not me. I am not the man. <laughs> Fucking sledgehammer. <laughs> Bound to do some damage. The oldie clothing change I will make this entire game until I get like the t-shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was great. Dude, I'm shades of fucking uh, Necropolis or what? Uh. Before they, before they what? Are you implying that you'd be s Oh no, I forgot that it pops up my gamer tag. I don't want to die. What is that? Hy hygiene mask. Gotcha. Boom. Uh, Zombrex overdoses fatal. Yes. Katie will need Zombrex in two hours. Who is Denise following? Question mark. Is she following you or is she following me? She's following me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Here, Denise. <laughs> There's your weapon. A <laughs> nice, nice mannequin head. <laughs> no, just kidding. Give me my goddamn head back, you fucking bitch. Oh. Alright. 
now let's bring her back to the safe room so we can get to level two. Get off. What the Damn it, hell? Denise. Move it. Let's go. Hurry it up. Get off. Faster. At least the fucking AI in this game is not nearly as stupid. As it is in the first game. In the first game, you have to like mash the fucking Y button to get them to follow you. It's so like. Coffee creamer. Oh, wait, hang on. Yes, it's always nice drinking coffee creamer. Right? Oh, no, we're gonna go back and Sullivan. Right, okay. Yeah, sorry, okay. We're gonna go back and Sullivan's gonna give us the key when we bring back what's her face here. We bring back Denise. And then we'll have all the combo weapons. However, I am gonna make a quick detour to one of these stores. Ooh, metal baseball bat. Yeah, if you aim with the metal baseball bat, he smacks the baseballs. And you even have to his. aim. Oh, you don't? Oh, that actually kind of bugs me. Just held X. Uh, that's not bad. How are you? All right, I've got the gift for Katie. I want that achievement. I want that to be the first achievement I get, even though I know it's not Still going there? to. But I know it's not going to be the first achievement I get because I think we get an achievement for escorting a survivor back to the safe room. And odds are, I'm going to get into the safe room and this fucking thing's going to disappear and I'm going to be sad. So I'm going to have to make two trips. Forgot I'm so slow I don't have to make sure that Denise isn't lagging behind because Dead Rising 1 when you get the first like speed upgrade everybody is infinitely slower than you and it's annoying. Don't go in here yet. Hang on. Oh no, we are good. Alright. I just want to make sure that she had the symbol above her. That is something I appreciate is that in this game... Oh. They have a symbol above their head when they can go through doors. Where on earth did you find them? Never mind. I don't want to know. There's still people alive out there. Of course there is. We can't afford to have any infected in here. Except for anybody who gets infected. Still got it. Ah. Double sec. Yes, I know how prestige points work, game. Katie! I buy you a gift of woo! Because I'm going to have to inject you with Zombrex later. And you're going to be real pissy about it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yay! That was my first achievement. Yes! It's good to spoiler sometimes. That's amazing. The literal only downside to that is now every time we're in here, that fucking bear will not shut up. Uh, and I don't okay. know if you. I don't know if you know this, but the, the, the list of gifts that you can get for Katie is extensive, going as far as giving her a live, actual tiger. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll have fun doing that one. That boss is a huge pain in the ass. 
hate that boss. It's worth it. Boy? Uh, we got like an hour to kill. I don't know where the fuck you going. I guess we could go back. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me talk to Sullivan. Just stay here where it's safe. Is that really all you're just you're just gonna say that? Maybe if we just go back out. Whom's the fuck man's is this? Whom's the fuck man's is this? Who the fuck man's is this? Alright, well, I guess we can do something. We don't really have anything to do until we give her her first batch of Zombrex. So I suppose we could just run around. Maybe Two just. More zombies. Maybe just one play. I see Gordon. Ah, there's survivors we can bring back for more asparagus. Lashandra! Sub Lashandra. Aren't you all right, lady? Lady, it's Lashandra Dawkins. My good for nothing like, husband left me here. Regulate so I can ass. regulate this. Yeah. Yeah. Level three. New skill. Is it jump kick? Is it the jump kick? No. Backdrop. Oh, it's so that I can get grabbed from behind. Don't. Oh, sorry, Legendre. Hate to break up this level, but it is insane out here. This is so funny. I never. It's such a play on the uh, the first group of people you meet in uh, Dead Rising One on a, on the rooftop right outside of the uh, safe house. That's so funny. He even says the same Keep shit. That's great. Right. Stay right. close. Six thirty. Mm. Fuck that zombie. And the 2x4 is not as bad as I remember it being, but it's also not as good. Alright, Gordon. You can have the 2x4, because I like you. Boom. Pew, pew, pew. You know, a brick? Probably a pretty solid weapon in zombie apocalypse. I can't stand it. <laughs> oh yeah, spray paint. This is important. I don't remember yeah. is it Zombrex posters? I think it's Zombrex posters. Yeah, it is Zombrex posters. Find the cure, so says Chuck fucking Green. Oh, what? You don't even swing with the mannequin head. That's disappointing. You just huck it like a football. <laughs> Disappointed! Oh, wait. Ah, ah, I know my first actual combo. Oops, 657. I'm gonna grab my uh, MMA gloves and then we should head back so we can give Katie the Zombrex. Yep. 
the zoom bricks. Get off, please. Is he doing Urgent okay? Chuck, 7 a.m. You should hurry back to save house. Get kid your zoom bricks. Yes, thank you. I know this. Uh, first things first. That thing that you're right next to? Yeah. I think you can examine this and it gives you... No? Maybe not. Never mind. Well, we'll come back. It, I, if you um, observe Faster. that when you get the combo room key, Hurry up. Uh, you get the combo card for that weapon. I got a giant stuffed elephant. I believe that's a gift for Katie if you want to give it to her. We can do that. You can. I'll let you do the honors, my guy. Damn! Get out of my way! Uh -huh. Damn it. I. Couldn't get it high enough to make you it so high. You trying to make loss? No. I was, <laughs> no, I was trying to make high. Uh, trying to get high on that spray paint. Is that what you're trying to say? You, you know me, just always huffing that spray paint, my dude. Uh, all right, we're good. To the safe house. Save your game by visiting a restaurant. Fuck you, Sully. Oh my god, time passes so fucking quick in this game? Jesus Christ. No, I guess it's not a... No, it is, but it's just because the mission requirement was to talk to her and give her the Zombrex. Oh God! I told you I did. Something yeah, this is good. This is this is good. <laughs> this is real good. Don't. Oh, this is just uncomfortable. Oh. See, that wasn't so bad, Dad. You sure wow, I never girl. noticed it because you can't read the dog tags. Look, Dad, the dog tags literally have me. like his name and shit on them. That's actually kind of amazing. Uh. Next case will occur at 7 a.m., which is right now. Whew. All right, I have saved the game. I've been told that we have received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City Arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Uh, Chuck, you should really double up on that coffee cup so you don't burn yourself. Right. Fuck it. Do you? But rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City Arena, the site of the Terror is Reality game show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green. Oh, I'm real glad he uh, didn't take a sip of that. <laughs> Be real hard with that mask. Game show. Acquaintances <laughs> describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. This is Rebecca Chang reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit. What a reporter that name. not me. Rebecca Did Chang? Did you have something oh, to yeah. do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they Chuck saying Green you're part so of Canadian. Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. That's a trailer moment 
It's not the it's like not time any MSC reason for him to do that. <laughs> it's there so they can have him slam a table. We were in town on the fucking that <laughs> trailer. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. Not but with that mask, no, involved. no way. Look, no, definitely not a terrorist. The it's not a zombie, not a terrorist. How much time I have to definitely not a terrorist. The reporter De definitely not a terrorist. Man the wearing a tank top fake. with camo she all over him. With gray hair and a no blood spattered stone mask. She said she nope, not a terrorist. Nope, 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 sir. No, sir. Definitely not a terrorist. Fucking, I never noticed how my, Canadian Chuck Green is. My, my character is so ironic right now. Truly. Okay. Um. <laughs> where's, where's Katie? Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Yes, because we're in the little, the little coffee room. Katie! Yeah. Here's your psychotic dad. Twin brother has a gift for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. It replaced the. No, uh, it's on top bear. of that locker right there. I love you. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I wish it replaced the fucking bear, but it doesn't. Grab this. I don't think there's a. You should grab that axe, cause you're gonna want to make yes. the best combo weapon. Wait, I'm sorry. Hang on. What? Who the fuck's Lulu? Who the fuck is you? A Playboy bunny. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, sure thing. Crystal. I guess these are all people that were in the cutscene. Was there's Lashandra and Gordon. All right, we should get out of here. Gordon, not free man. Gordon, not Half Life Three man. Hi, Stacy. I that everybody in here has a fucking health bar, despite the fact that, uh, spoiler, zombies never get in this fucking safe house. So the fact that they all have health bars. A is, safe house? It, the fact that they all have health bars is, like, really strange. Oh, yeah. Sullivan, take it, it's yours, yeah. G gib, gib. Combo, please. Now the real game begins. Like, the game starts off not giving you the combo weapons, so they're like, yeah, figure it out, nerd. Then they give you the combo room thing, and you're just like, a whole new world. New messages. One man's trash. Oh, uh, that's the Come side on, quest go. to go. What's it called? Talk to the dudes on the strip. That'll sell us the weapons. Ideas, even though if you play Case Zero, none of this makes any fucking sense because he's already done all of this. He, like, he's already made combo weapons. Like, there's no fucking reason. Lost. Help the trigger happy lady. Platinum strip. A young woman is armed and taking out some zombies near the arena entrance. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need a uh, cone, a street cone. There we go. There's one. I'll get you. I'll show you the the real combo weapon. It's not a fire axe and a sledgehammer, but it totally is, though. That's the best combo weapon in the game, quote unquote. Best combo weapon in the game. <laughs> 
It's pretty fucking OP. But, check this shit. Taiwan? Check this shit. You wanna see some real fucking nonsense? You take, so you, you take the pylon, right? And you take spray paint, and you fucking get. I love that I can see you in the background. It's not saying. You get this thing. Now you're like, what the fuck is that oh, thing? Geez. That's dumb. Get this. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's real. It's a real thing that's happening right now. Like, this is not real. This, this is loss. If anything. Alright. Nails. My Bring MMA gloves. Spiky boys. A couple of spiky boys. Hunk of meat. Drill bucket. I don't remember what you do with a broom. Propane tank. And nails. You do anything with that? Nails. And nails. You make an IED. It's actually really, really good. Badass. Fucking IED. So the, uh, if you have the combo card for that, the alternate ability for it is you <clears throat> smack a zombie over the head with it and it sticks to them. And then when you shoot them, it explodes with a giant radius. Huh. All right. A drill and a bucket. The drill bucket. Quality. Drop my air horn. Make my defiler. I need my defiler. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's definitely two combo weapons that are the exact same fucking thing, and that would be the spike gloves, which are nails and MMA gloves, and uh, the other spike gloves. I bet they're probably called something else, if I remember. Uh, but they're Wolverine gloves. You get a Bowie knife and boxing gloves, and you get one of the other better combo weapons in the game. It's really, really strong. Right on. The Defiler. I fucking love the Defiler. What did I get two more? Wow, when we leveled up those first two times, I got a fucking, what's it called? I got two health bars. I'm level four. GG. Wait. I thought you. Oh. Somebody? Yeah, that's the alt thing. Right, right, right. Oh, now you can examine the power. Yes! Okay. There's an idea. Wow, for my level up, I got the... There we go, tenderizers. Spike gloves are called tenderizers. Honestly? Whoever on the dev team for this game was like, how about this for a combo weapon? And just laid out the idea of a sledgehammer with two axes. That is the single most versatile weapon I could ever possibly imagine. And I'm not just saying it because it's like one of the better combo weapons in the game. I literally mean like, you could put axes on a fucking sledgehammer in real life and it would be a hundred percent practical like uh, give that shit to a, a firefighter like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. oh get this zombie mask it's a fucking evil blanket mask mm. not really that's definitely a Capcom character and I definitely am just dumb and don't know who it's supposed to be <laughs> Yeah, get off me, nerd. Beat 
Beach ball. Beach ball. Uh, okay. Is that a gift? No, it's not, right? The beach ball? I don't believe so. Katie only accepts some really dumb, dumb shit, if I'm not mistaken. Like, some really absolutely absurd dumb shit. You Lava lamp. A giant champagne bottle. Katie wants a giant champagne bottle. That's one of the gifts for her. It's really strange. Why my... Why Katie's like a six-year-old girl. Why does she fucking want a giant champagne bottle? Like... Early onset alcoholism? Question <laughs> mark? I mean, could you blame her? Man, as much as I love these games, I actually like. I love. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, don't even sweat it. I, even if you see the upside to it is, even if you fucking dat like kill me, you, because we're in co-op, it doesn't matter. I'll just go down. You just have to get a health item and give it to me, and I'll be a-okay. And there are plenty of those to go around. Oh, yeah. The weirdest... The only part of this map in this game that I'm, like, genuinely... I've ever had a, like, true problem finding health items is when you go to the Platinum Strip. And I always uh, carry you, a health item. Can you way. use the newspapers for something? Yes. Whiskey bottle uh, and or whiskey and uh, newspaper make Molotov cocktails. Where would I be able to find uh, said whiskey bottle? So whiskey, probably. Honestly, trash cans are a good bet. Because sometimes you find guns in them. Because Japan, I'm sorry, I keep saying Japan because the first game is, is Japanese as fuck. Uh, but I Dead Rising 2 and. I think three are developed by which are definitely Canadians. That's why Chuck is Canadian. Every time he says sorry, you hear it real bad. Alright, we should Computer case. Computer case and flashlight makes the hacker. Which uh, honestly, has like zero use for a good chunk of the game. It's a cool concept. It does nothing except for one specific thing, and that's if you touch ATMs with it, you get uh, bonus money out of it without destroying it. Uh, ah, yeah. You read a magazine. Yeah, you have to keep it on you to get its effects, though. Heads up. Uh, I have yeah, health. Yeah, yeah. I have health. Well, what, what even was it? 10% bonus. From weapons, I mean, Melee weapons? 10% uh, bonus damage, I think. That's pretty. That's not bad, but that's not It's good. right here. Uh. No, 10% boost to PP earned from weapon kills. Bonus asparagus. Alright, we should probably head to a live on location. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I don't have a sledgehammer. What is that? Golf club? That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Dead Rising, uh, as a franchise, has a lot of really weird... At least the first two games. Not so much in the third game. The third game is more hyper-focused on like, story and location and, like, goofier things to do and weird side missions for people. But, uh... In Dead Rising 1 and 2, there's all these, like... More so in 2 than 1. But there's all these weird things you can do. Like, for instance, in this game, now I'll point it out here because I'm an idiot and made the defiler. But if you have a sledgehammer 
or a weapon you can smash down with over here inside this store you can smash this thing the like test of strength and it'll actually give you experience if you do. like oh. literally all you have to do is smash it with a fucking sledgehammer and it's like here's 10,000 like experience for nothing for li for literally punching a thing or hitting a thing for no reason and like it's, there's just all kinds of weird shit to do in this game that does that like winning the lottery here you can literally win the slot machines like there's so many weird things to do it's, it's bizarre the first game there was just a few little things like putting a frying pan on a stove and heating it up and then killing a zombie with it. <laughs> like, yep. there's. This one is just. There's all kinds of weird shit. Like, doing a drink. I think there's one for doing, like, a drinking rally in the fucking. What's it called? Inside a. a can't think of the word. A bar. That's definitely a floating zombie. That'll happen. That happens a lot in Dead Rising 1. There's an area of the, the mall where uh, there's like one of those weird airport like escalator things, but they aren't escalators. They're like flat escalators, you know? Um, and you can just... It's really weird. It, when the military comes, starts killing zombies. Oh, yeah, this fucking thing. You can do the cash cube. I don't remember what button I had to finish. Damn it! I'm so close to winning! I don't know if I'm good enough to mash me. I used to be able to mash so good. Now my arm just cramps up. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna try it one more time because I am making a profit off of it. <sighs> I don't know if I won, to be honest. Think I did? Maybe I didn't. Huh, you gotta really fucking mash to win that though. Oh yeah, over here. Is much alcohol? Oh, you have a blender. Okay. I'm a Ugh, hang on, it's fine. That was a that was, that was a gambling burp. That was definitely a gambling burp. Juice. Uh, I'll try it. So I'm gonna teach you the ways of the juice. Of the juice JT done. And we're you're never gonna want to eat health items unless you absolutely fucking have to. Environment bonus. I'm a winner. Jesus. GG. Okay. Find a blender, right? Get this. Mm -hmm. You take two food items, put them in a blender, you get one of any number of beverages, I guess you could say. So, for instance, two things of the same alcohol will give you painkiller. Painkiller is the best fucking one in the game. I say that called painkiller for a fucking reason. That reason is, you drink that shit, as long as the effect is active, you take fucking 75% damage reduction. Oh. It is ungodly. Not to mention, as long as you don't drink randomizer, you are... they heal you, like, 100% until you get to, like... I don't even know. Like, level 50, probably. Or wherever you get for max health. 
It's amazing. Uh, but there's a couple different ones. I point out painkiller. Yeah. I point out painkiller specifically, but there's quick step, which increases your speed. Makes you run real fucking fast. There's Spitfire, I think. I don't know if Spitfire is in this game. Spitfire, if you unequip all your weapons and you just have your bare hands, you hold LT and then press RT, you can spit at zombies. This is the thing you can do in the first game. The only difference is in this game, you can't really... You don't have a whole lot of range. You're gonna get right up, like right up in their face. Um, Spitfire basically... What is it again? What Spit fire, uh, unequip your weapons, uh, hit up on the D-pad. If your inventory is full, you'll drop your weapon. But uh, yeah, with no weapons equipped, you can just do this. Uh, Spitfire in this game works differently than it does in Dead Rising 1. Though. Dead Rising 1, it basically turned your spit into bullets. It was like a two-hit kill on anything at, but at the later time. So at like 7.30, zombies get stronger and faster generally just more aggressive and a lot more pain in the ass. But with Spitfire, I literally was two hitting them. In this game, Spitfire just makes you shoot them. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, fuck if I know how to make it anymore, to be honest, though. Um, beer bottles uh, combo with... Um, What's it called? Uh, construction hat or a hard hat makes the beer hat, which is a glorified Uber health item for like ages. Oh. Damn. Gotta go and talk to Rebecca Chang so we can progress the plot before we lose everything. I don't want to have to do another stream, you know? Ah, oh, man. Platinum strip. Oh, at some point, one of my levels up. Level up gave me the uh, jump kick. Well, that's certainly nice. Oh, so not only is Painkiller one of the the best ones, I totally forgot. Uh, if you can find two like really disgusting food items, like um, in. Case Zero, the best example I can think of. And I'm not saying these are disgusting items together. Um, but like, bacon and chili makes repulse, which basically means zombies won't try to eat you. Oh. It's really nice. I like the Oh, I didn't know this had an alternative attack. That's actually okay. That's actually. Amazing. All right, we should definitely get the fuck out of here, though. Ah, there we go. No, I didn't want to. No, well. Look, it's Chad. Welcome to the family. It's men are in shanks, one is fighting, the other is crying, lost. Help a trigger happy lady. Oh yeah, she she's here with Chad. I mean JBL. I mean no, Chad. No, it's definitely Chad. Just a guy that really looks like he could be cosplaying as JBL. Hello out there. Oh, God damn it. 
you're using a shotgun, bro, and I don't have any weapons. I'm at a distinct disadvantage here because I don't have any weapons. I guess this will do. But I don't actually know how good this will do, to be honest. From fortune with love, here we go. Definitely find something of use in here, at least. I I hope. Comically large poker chip. Touristy clothes, flip flops. Okay, I figured I'd find like I don't know something goofy that I could use as a decent weapon. Look at all these cure protesters, though. Do you feel bad for people protesting for zombies' rights? Because I sure as hell don't. I feel no sympathy. <laughs> soon, my friend. Soon. I will... I will be able to ride you. Okay, drill. Drill's also a pretty good option for a baseline melee weapon. They say TIR or whatever, but that's definitely not a TIR outfit. back for you, Doris. Are you heading to the South Plaza? No, we're not. Jukin' and jiving, jukin' and jiving. No, we gotta get to a hotel. Yeah, we gotta get to the Fortune City Hotel. I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah, Chad, I know. You're in a predicament. Good luck. I can't help you. Oh, we can't talk to these guys. 
Wait a minute, you're one of those punks who tried to jump me in Roy's Mart. Whatever. Might have been one of my pals, Grandpa. Just businessman. Feel free to browse any of our four pawn shop locations. There's this one here and others. We've got lots of valuable merchandise, pal. I wouldn't turn your nose up at it. We could really help you out. Yeah, because they've got Zombrex. Luscious lady. A luscious lady is fine, but, um, not exactly ideal. Alright, Paul. The adventure continues. Yep. Can this thing get upstairs? Affirmative. This would seem to be, yes, Fortune City Hotel. Just kind of wanna soak it in that I'm murdering giant hordes of. Oh well, all right. Okay. There we go. We keep getting distracted because it's just easy in Dead Rising games to get distracted. I know. Because it's just fun to kill zombies, man. It's just easy, fun, dumb fun. Converse! Nice, nice zoom in on this Converse, baby. Rebecca Chan. Oh man, they updated all the models, but didn't pay attention out bother here, updating that one. Buddy. Thanks. Rebecca Chang, Channel 6 Action News. Giant, Giant boobies. Are you serious? Honestly. Yep. From the security video. I thought you'd be long gone by now. It Since wasn't you're sticking me. around, care to answer a few questions? I'm not your story, lady. I didn't have anything to do with the outbreak. Right, sure you didn't. And that tape showing you tampering with the cages was... A fake. I had nothing to do with this. My daughter and I barely got out of there alive. I need to know where you got that tape from and who your source is. Reporters don't reveal their sources, Chuck. That's privileged information. Privileged my, privileged ass. my ass. But look at me, I'm white. On the tape. I'm being set up. Hmm. Why should too much, I too much, okay. You don't have to. But you want the big story, right? Help me out and I'll give you an interview. I'll give With you the, the biggest suspect. story you could ever possibly have. Expensive. Sure, doesn't matter to me. I can't tell you my source. But Chuck kind of looks like a oh, security room. more realistic version of my GTA character. There. I can show you where it is. It's got that well, that chin. Start at least. Aren't we gonna need your crew? Hmm. They ran off with all the equipment. I guess they just didn't want it bad enough. <laughs> the insinuation that Rebecca Chang is like. This top dog character is like, fuck you. You gotta do what you gotta do to get to the top is so just on the nose. It's kind of obnoxious. Okay, yeah. I didn't mean to drink that, but hey. It's all good. I'll work out. Oh, yes. Oh no! Shit. Well, suppose it had to happen eventually. 
what? Got lead pipe in this game is actually good. We just got the mission for meet the contestants. You need to take a rest. Uh, I do. I need to save the game. Please and thank you. I'm just, I have two profiles going. I just want to save them both. No! Fuck. You good? What are you. <laughs> Why are you spitting at yourself on the mirror? Okay. For fuck's sake, Rebecca, let's go! We gotta keep going. We're gonna run out of time. Jesus. I appreciate that her AI doesn't always try to shoot things. Very different to the Dead Rising 1 family. Where all the Dead Rising 1 AI wanted to do was shoot things. Crowbar is a good weapon. It's one of those good weapons that's not a combo weapon. Yeah. It's just really fucking durable. You can just hit the hit things with that forever and they just don't give a shit. It's an unfortunate thing. The next time we go to the strip, we're going to be met with our first psychopath. Quote, unquote. I could do this all day. Watch yourself. Rebecca, I don't need you to tell me to watch myself. Let's go. Chuck sounds like a huge dick, though. Whenever you get someplace and your your co-op partner's all with you. Buddy. Yeah. I didn't even. Okay, whatever then. Damn it. Better get used to that view, Chuck. Cute. Hope I don't have to do everything for you. Well, what are you waiting for? Just checking out the view. Oh! Did you catch that? That nice line delivered and and steeped in just mm, raging sexual innuendo. You're in my way. Watch it. We're almost there. Bad part is oh, we're gonna have to go back to the safe room, I think. Oh, actually, that's not too far because the uh, Americana Casino is right there. And once we do this, all of the shutters in the game should be open. They still oh. did it. Oh, <laughs> he definitely exploded, but okay. Like I guess I'm, she doesn't have to do everything for us. We have to open the door for here. her. Oh, try. never mind. Don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some interesting skills for me. I love that. I love. <laughs> No one ever got an award playing by the rules. <laughs> the immediate. Never mind. That was the most perfectly timed moment I could have possibly imagined. Guess what? It's a security womb. Wow. Looks like somebody didn't like the show much. And no shit, huh? Damn it! 
There's nothing here that we can use. Everything's been destroyed. Everything. Check. Check this out. No zombie did that. There might not be anything here to clear your name, but it definitely proves someone's covering up what really happened. You believe me now? Let's just say I'm intrigued. Chuck, you need to get back to the bunker now. What is it? What's wrong? It's Sullivan. He saw you on the TV. You better get back here. He's threatening to kick Katie out. I'm on my way. Wait, who is that? Stacy. Forsyth. The leader of Cure? I guess. I'll meet you there. Oh, this just gets better. I guess. <laughs> it's like... Oh, oh yeah, the way. Yeah. I guess. Like, it's like... Just say yes, Chuck. Just say yes. Oh. Uh, spoiler, you can literally just run back here and see what happened to this dude's face. Uh, it's way lame. It's just a bullet hole. No zombie did that. No shit. They they didn't want to show you that, but that's all it is. It's like oh, it's a bit lame. <laughs> they're gonna still if you, just in case you want to go back. What's over here? Dynamite and a sh oh. I know what this one is. Machete, broomstick. Oh shit! That oh no. Wicked. You get this thing. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, oh, dynamite. Weapon. And a fire extinguisher. You do a lot of things with dynamite in this game. Damn right. Makes a freezer bomb. Can you drop that real quick so I can pick it up for the uh, yep. recipe? Thank you. I forgot about that. When you pick them up, you can, you actually get the recipe. I've come up with a new recipe. I oh could yeah. Do this all day. All right, we gotta get back to the thing. The best thing about uh, Dead Rising 2, though, is that in this game, unlike in the first game, it doesn't make you. A lot of the casework doesn't back-to-back -back stack, or it's not separated by three fucking hours or some shit like that. In this game, huh. in this game, like, in the first game it was like, oh, there's a case thing happening, but you do it and then it's like, you have like an hour to dick around if you want to, but then if you do, you lose out on like some cutscene stuff if you're not in the safe room at the exact time. So there's like no point to Am I bloody if you enough? want that. Never. The answer is never. <laughs> hey man, at least when you're covered in blood in this game, it doesn't look half as bad as it does in uh, Dark Souls 3. When you're covered in blood in Dark Souls 3 and you take off your helmet, you're like, I didn't know I made my dude black. It's like, uh, yeah, about that. What? Man, it would be really useful. I was gonna say. I'm only doing this to get the spray paint. I could do this all day. I think there's like an achievement. You got a little green spray paint, spray, spray paint, spray paint on me. Boy, I'll cover you. Yeah. Now you, now you look like the Joker's art project. Good. Oh my God. Angel Lust here, this poster for this fake band, is a real poster for a real band of survivors that we rescue later. This game is self-referential as fuck, and it's kind of amazing. Oh, Barbecue Shack. Oh, you wanna dress up like Pornstar76? We got you. Yeah, smooth. This dog is gonna knock me the fuck out. No, he's not. Nice. Ooh. My thing is flashing. That's good. Yeah. Killer. 
I need health. I'm gonna run to this barbecue shack or whatever. Big shack! Uh, wait, I think there's a blender in here. Unless I'm fucking wrong, which I hope I'm There's a chainsaw. That doesn't help me. There's no frying. Oh, there is a frying pan. But there's no blender. Barbecue ribs. Paul. Paul, Paul, stand still. Hold on. Paul. Fuck, hang on. Ah, oh, I can't spray ketchup on you. I had a whole line ready and everything. God damn it. I was gonna yell no ketchup just off. <laughs> Dreams. Uh. They are ruined. Oh my god. I didn't even look at how much time we have. I had. didn't eat that burger. Are we gonna fail that one? Uh, if we fail that, we have to literally load the most recent save. Gotcha. So, we should start booking it while we can. <laughs> yep. No, this is the casino. Royal Flush is right there. We're gonna make it. I swear to God, we're gonna make it. Oh God, I hope we make it. <laughs> I was real confident we were gonna make it. And then I got real unconfident in the fact that we might make it. Oh, put us right here. We're good. We're fucking... We're stellar. We just gotta keep running. No distractions. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make it. We're so goddamn slow because we're only level five. Ah! Even with the ninja shit, you do not run very fucking fast at all. Holy shit. We're literally like maybe f fucking a minute, l a literal real world minute away from failing this. And we still have fucking space to go. God damn it. I failed this by being at this doorway, by the way. You could fail that in that run in the safe room. Well, we made it anyway. This time. Yes, thank God. Nothing but trouble. Put this whole bunker at risk? You expect me to believe that? Hey. Oh, well. Looky here. Man of the hour. Chuck Don't fucking Green. grab your gun, cunt. Should have listened to my gut and kicked you out when you got here. Sullivan, I had nothing to do with this. I saw it on the TV. Saw you, buddy. Explain how that little trick works. Wasn't me on the tape. It was someone in my show outfit. But look. I don't care whether you believe me or not. I've got three days till the military gets here to prove that I'm innocent. I'll hand myself over if we haven't gotten any proof by then. I'm just asking for a fair shot. Ahem. You could have told me that the front door was locked. Hey, you're that TV lady. I'll make you a deal. You keep rounding folks up, you can keep coming and going. You die out there, and we'll have to leave it to the devil to sort you out. Why are you so weird? There ain't no one gonna cover your ass when you the military arrives. What? Pull anything, the fuck does that anything, mean, bro? And I'll do whatever I have to do. Come through. Swing first. <laughs> what was that all about? He watches too much TV. Tell me you found something. We went to Central Security, but somebody got there before us. Everything was smashed. All the tapes were gone. Hey, no footage of my daughter. 
Stacy. Wow. I'm Rebecca Chang, Channel 6 Action News. I'm here to help. Oh. You'll forgive me if I don't think it's very helpful that you accused my organization of a crime we didn't commit. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but clearly things are not as they seem. I put out the information I had at the time. Remember, you can have all the exclusives you want if you help us figure out what's going on here. Works for me. Whether you're innocent or guilty. I just want the truth. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But okay. We'll work together. I'll keep an eye on these monitors. And I'm going back out there to see what I can find out. I'll let you know if I see anything. Like, weird as it sounds, like, all the Dead Rising plot points are always some weird shit. Look at that! So, mm. we're, it's like 1 p.m., right? Something like that? Mm hmm. We have until. Oh, it's actually 4.59 p.m. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We gotta get Zombrex. It's 4.59, and Katie needs Zombrex at 7. And we don't have any. Oh, boy. Uh, I actually... I know of a place that has Zombrex. But, realistically, we should go to the Roy the Strip. And go to that pawn shop. Because I know we can get Zombrex there. Wait, did I over... Okay, no, never mind. I'm insane. Kate, I forgot. It's 24 hours, not... I just lost my shit. It's 24 hours, not 12 hours. She didn't need Zombrex until 7 a.m. All right, but we've so we've got time to cock around, but we should still head to the strip to get uh, some Zombrex. Just gotcha. better safe than sorry. I actually know of a couple different places we could get Zombrex. There's um. Could go to the Yucatan Casino, which is a pretty pretty decent option. Or we could ah, oh, Kristen. We should actually rescue this survivor chick. Oh, I be, I be. The the swing radius on this is is finicky at best. Slot machines are really puking out my fuck. Not puke out money in this one. Damn it. They don't. They do an off the record. Well that's rather unfortunate. Damn it, now I'm gonna have to make do. Oh, there is a blender over there. I forgot where we were at for a minute. Uh, okay. Hey. Oh, shit. Let's see, I don't really need the spray pan. So let's see what... Winner! Yay. Is there anything more gross than a burger? A baked potato? I'm not even gonna make a joke. Okay, so that failed miserably. I put 
barbecue ribs and a hamburger into a blender. I got painkiller. Okay. Huh. Alright, I've got one for you. Let's try whiskey. You got whiskey? Yeah, let's try whiskey. Let's try whiskey and a hamburger. I really want to make repulse, just because it's helpful. Well, ketchup. Uh, you can't put ketchup in a blender. It has to specifically be health items. Can't be, like, condiments. It has to have, like, the food icon for it to be able to be put into a blender. It's dumb, I know. Oh, I got Spitfire. Okay, Spitfire was whiskey and a burger. I found a chainsaw. Chainsaw is good. Let's take a baked potato. I have vodka and a baked potato. Maybe beer and a baked potato. A beer and a baked potato doesn't sound that bad. That sounds like something people would totally be like, yeah. Good to have my beer, eat my baked potato. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't sound like offensive. <sighs> or maybe, ah, oh, wait, hang on. Okay, a baked potato and wine made quick step. Oh. All right, I'm gonna ride the mechanical bull. I did that. I won. That was easier than I remember it being. Alright. Um. How do I not... Oh, I'm an idiot. Because I just spent five grand. Fuck it. I refuse to play the slots knowing my luck is not going to be that good. But I just don't know how else we're going to make. I guess the cash cube could probably net me some more money. I, just, I can't go hard like I was though. I just can't do it man. I can't. I could play cash cube. I'm gonna I'm go for the cash cube anyway. I mean, big money. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. That's. Where do we be f have to be for sign of life? No, don't need Katie. Nothing going on right now. Stacy will call me back to the safe house if anything happens. 
All right, yep, so we're just killing time. I'm not even... That goes to the arena. I want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was trying to look for the way out of here, and I'm failing miserably. I see Platinum Strip. There we go. That's where I wanted to go. Welcome to the family, it's about to fail. <sighs> yeah, but I don't want to... No. We could probably go get them, but that's... Survivors, you know. It doesn't matter. Welcome we can't even. To the family. Oh, we're gonna get copyright flag now. That that one time, anybody from that band would watch my stream and be like, "This motherfucker." We can't even go get Doris. It doesn't matter. If we go try to get Doris, we trigger the boss fight. Which, uh, isn't... Ow. I do want to actually do that boss fight, so we should do that before... Um, what's it called? Who that? What? Nah, that's what one, someone said. Oh, uh, probably the stupid dude. Yep, they copied and pasted this cutscene from K Zero. What is a saw blade then? Is a saw blade that and the trap by a fire? Or come over here and put that on the table and see if that works. No, that's nope. not it either. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Do the uh, it's umbrella the drill. first. No. Well, no, it doesn't matter what order you put them in, but I know what this one is. Put that down, and then put this. Nice. And that makes that. I put the saw blade down. Uh. I think it might be the... Oh, it's right there. I think it might be the drill. No. Okay. Nope. Definitely not. What the fuck? Is it the saw blade and the bucket? No. All right. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. I need Ooh, a box. Hand I need boxing gloves. I'm gonna drink sp this Spitfire. Fire effects still look shit as always. They actually look pretty good in Dead Rising 1. Maybe Chad's not a part of the Lost Quest. Oh, giant stuffed bunny. That's a gift for KD. I'm not gonna grab it right now. It's a giant stuffed rabbit in the uh, pawn shop. <laughs> Oh, maybe Welcome to the Family isn't what I was thinking of. Chad and Doris, uh, you're supposed to lead them together or something like that. But first and foremost, before we do any of that... Hey. Uh, hey Chuck, I was wondering if you could come back to the security room for a minute. I just want to talk to you about Katie. I'm a little worried about her. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a second. I just... Oh, no, actually... 
Nah, that's good. I want to go back to the Royal Flush Plaza anyway. Because I know there's Bowie knives and boxing gloves in there. And then we'll come back and we'll do that boss fight. Okay. Boss fight's just a bit of a pain in the deck, but if we both have the right weapons, try to keep it. Get in, nerd. You got places to go, shit to beat. Uh, how? B? Or, uh, B, yeah. There we go. Touchy. Yeah, it can. Uh... No, Chad, shut the fuck up. I will go this way, because I think this is a way to get back to the world. Oh, okay. Talk about the fact that I have more health items than actual weapons on me right now. Oh, this thing. If you beat this thing, I think you can uh, roll this ball around or something, maybe? I don't remember. Spray paint, lawnmower. It's a lawnmower. These are, none of these are the weapons I want. Get off. I'll jump kick all of y'all. I can't go in when you're on the fucking lawnmower. That's good to know. Oh. I didn't even know. Get off, please. Before we get jumped, fuck's sake. Chased by baddies. I don't have a weapon. Flashlight, I got the jewels. Inventory! New skill move. Oh my god, we're gonna... We're going the right way? We need to stop doing this. I, I was just trying to find some help. I was low on health. I know, it's not your fault. We might fail this. Probably not. No, we've got time. <laughs> What, for Katie? No, not for Katie, for the, the sign of life story mission. Yeah. No. 
God damn it. Fuck. Load. Ah. Fuck me. Last time we saved was on the way back to the save room. Oh, well, it's fine. Yep. This time... This time, we'll, we'll get back to the safe room. We'll deal with that cutscene. We won't spend so much time dicking around in the... Uh, what's it called, though? Oh, wait, no. It's when we got back... Oh, it. that's right. We did that story mission. So now we're on Sign of Life. Okay, that's good. So we don't have to run all the way back here. We can just go back. We'll go... Uh, get yourself a Bowie knife and boxing gloves. Or... Find two Bowie knives. I'll get the two boxing gloves. Okay. I'm gonna make us the best combo weapon against fucking dickhead on the strip. Gotcha. However, I'm going to take some kind of weapon to fend off against the zombies. Yeah, no, 100%. Sledgehammer. Fuck, I need a fire axe. Why didn't I grab one when I was in the goddamn safe room? Please be Shit. a fire axe, please. You can just take my sledgehammer. There's another one over here anyway. <clears throat> no, it was a saw blade. Boxing gloves. That's not a Bowie knife. Alright, here's one. I can at least make the one pair. And we were level six and shit. All right, heading back. Perfect. Knife gloves. Oh, oh that's a good name. Hey, what do you call those gloves? Knife gloves. Ah, oh, sick, bro. I'm trying to find a fucking another Bowie knife. You know, who would have thought finding a Bowie knife would be such a big pain in the dick? Like I kept seeing zombies walking around with said Bowie knife. Yep. Bing! Yes. Test the strength bonus. Woohoo! Ah! Got one. Good. Uh, spray paint. Spray paint. Thank you. Okay. 
not a problem, friendo. Anytime. Alright. So we got less time than I'd like, probably, to kill him, but it shouldn't be that bad. We'll still make it. We'll have plenty of time. He's not... Once you kind of get him locked into how he functions, like once you figure out the, the strategy to beating him, he's super easy. Sometimes he can be a little finicky, but nonetheless, his ass will be grass, and our foot will indeed be the mower. I would have liked to have made a defiler, but I couldn't find a fucking, what's it called, to save my life. Fire axe. Oh, these looters! Yes! Oh, dude, sweet. Speed increase. I need some kind of food. Uh, oh. I got you. <laughs> Over here in this little zombie -less pocket. Coffee creamer. Coffee creamer is, like, the best... Oh shit. Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but then again, does this game make sense? No. Not even remotely Damn. close to making any sort of sense. Alright, All right. we better get going. Yeah, if we actually want to kill him in time. I just want to use this bench real quick. Cool. Alright. Let's go fuck him up. Knock it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's all good, my dude. Trying to clear out the zombies. Cha feel. Cha definitely feel. I'm not holding you accountable, Paul, but I'm holding you accountable. Account. So, when we fight this fucking dude, up here is generally more specifically. You have a lightsaber? Fuck yeah, I do. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll give it to you in a second. So, we're gonna come. What? Ah, uh, so you can get the blueprint for it. Oh. It's, uh, gems and flashlight. Gotcha. Um. Down on the D-pad. I don't have my knife fists anymore. Oh, fuck. Because you dropped them for the coffee creamer. <laughs> No, it wasn't. I picked them back up, but I accidentally. I, I fucking was pushing the. Fucking. What do you call it around? Uh. Oh, the wheelchair. Yeah, shit. Nah, it's fine. I'll as just long, use the lightsaber, I guess. Yeah, you can keep the lightsaber, because it's, it's a good weapon. So when we fight him, you're gonna just kind of want to stay in here, like, within these gates, because he can't hit you. And, uh, very, very, well, not very often, but as long as you just jump out, he'll, like, lose his shit. Like, he'll, he'll charge at those, and then he'll get himself stuck. Oh. The general key to fighting most bosses in this fucking franchise. Just, just wait for them to get stuck. And once they, they get stuck, you know, I don't know why I started running this way. I should have gotten the fucking Zamboni. 
because I could drive that back after the cutscene. kill this fucking dude, but it's all good. We're gonna kick his ass because pro strats. And if we don't, well, we can just fucking leave. It's not hard. Fucking Zambo. I love that I can see the blade of the lightsaber just floating behind your character model. Oh well, looky here, if it ain't little Chucky Queen. Didn't get enough of me yet? Come back for my autograph? Oh, I bet you just get rock hard thinking about me at night, don't you, Chucky? You come to throw your panties at me? <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Look, I can take you to the bunker where it's safe. Bunker? Where it's safe? Man, you are a pussy, aren't you? I used to follow you when you did motocross. But look at you now. You're a broken man. You just don't got it anymore. This dude, dude is such a piece of What's shit. What's the problem? Are you such a chump, Chuck? I'll race you for him. Whoa. <laughs> like, could what this are you doing? Be more that people? wasn't a zombie. Yeah, no shit, Chuck. Twice the points. Harder to hit because they move around so much. Bastards. You're crazy. This isn't a game. You're right about that. That was just practice. <laughs> like, now it's a game. Terror is reality, baby, for real. <laughs> Love and fortune city. What is this dude's <laughs> fucking deal, bro? I've always wanted to take you down, chump. But you need some wheels, Chucky. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> Dude, fuck you. There goes Carlos. So now we have the bike key. If you want, you can take the bike. You can drive the bike up there to go fight him. Sorry, Doris. Oh, skip this. We can skip this. Don't need to watch that one twice. <laughs> Barn burner. Yep, there that is. There he is. Where the fuck is Leon? I like I saw him for a second and then he disappeared. Okay, all right. We're Okay, yeah. Boss music is kicked out. What the hell? What? I don't know. I got knocked off my bike for no reason. No, Leon drove past you probably. 
sees the chainsaws on his bike, it knocks you off. No, I know that. He wasn't anywhere near me. He was on my screen. He definitely he, like, wasn't on my screen. You see, I saw him like over here, and he like teleported away. I just realized uh, my health. Oh, fuck. There's like no food around here. Oh, I just saw him. Yeah. They want to assist to be made. Problem is, I can't be made. At the moment, at least. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. Of course, he just went straight for me. Hey, guess what? Loss of life is now in effect. Yeah. Get some new knife gloves, I guess. Ah, gone. I'm like running and trying desperately to find like any sort of. Oh shit! Nope, I got downed. Uh, over by me, there's a trash can. Uh, or trash bag. Go shoot those trash bags. See if there's help in Oh, come on. Uh, just throw it at the... Oh, look out! No, that... Nope. No. Fuck. Fuck. God, fuck me. Why didn't I save? Why didn't I? I knew this was going to happen, and I was like, yeah, maybe I should. Like in my head, I was like, yeah, maybe I should before we do this. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Such a Fucking dumbass. I wonder when we get to go home. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna fucking call that there then. And I'll fucking come back and do this on a different stream on a different day. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck Leon. Say. I hate him. I know how to beat him, but I hate him, and it's hard to beat him if you don't have health items, because he can just fucking, just fucking smack you. I should Destroy know him better, because, fucking, I don't need this. I don't know why I keep carrying that fucking freeze bomb around. There's, like, good health items in here. There's coffee creamer, there's coffee, there's milk. There's fucking a melon and orange juice. Fucking Leon. Alright. There's just a boot button to boot you. Alright. Quit. Yes. I'm sure I want to quit. Game. Jesus. Ah. Alright. Well, thanks for watching the stream. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably. Not entirely sure what yet, but. I'll be streaming.